Testing, testing. One, two, I believe we're live. I think it's working. This is potentially the most organized I've ever been. Hello, everybody. I can see the chat's happening already. I'm gonna get stuck right into the chat and say hello to everybody for coming because I feel like I've been missing you all recently with the chat. I've been bad at that. And uh, if you're watching on Catch Up, hello. Thanks for watching on Catch Up. Very kind of you. Right, who've we got in? David James is the first in saying evening all. Evening, David. Thanks for coming. Chimp number one's here. Hello, Chimp. Budget Guitar Show's here. Hello, Johnny. How are you doing, mate? Rob F. Hello, mate. And uh, Life Balance Dave. I've just added you as a mod. Speaking of which, there's Budget Pedal Chap, who's also a mod. So, we think about moderators. Um, basically, if you've got a guitar channel, uh, or guitar adjacent channel, let me know. We'll make you a mod. And uh, for all you guys that have channels, I could see... Johnny's got his link in there already. Good shout, mate. Yeah, get your links in. Um, post links to your channels uh, if you're a moderator. And you could do that. Do it. I mean, see if you do it now. There's probably less people watching now than there might be later on. So maybe you do it now and then do it again just whenever. So if you ever see links popping up from these guys, that's links to their channel. Check them out. Right. Who else did we miss there? Uh, John Channing is there. Hello, John. Thanks for coming. Sometimes... I always get that wrong. Sometimes them never fit. Hello, how you doing mate? Peter Collins is here as well. Johnny Random, John Little, Budget Guitar Show. Come on, let's get a swally on. Good shout, Johnny. Let's get a swally on. Hmm. That works. You know, it's not the same. I've been off work this week. It's not as rewarding having one when you've been off work <laughs> than it is at the end of a work week on the Friday and having that first wee sip. But speaking of which, after tonight, and a gig tomorrow night, I'm going to try and go a wee bit, uh, have a wee sober stint. I'm going to attempt it, see how it goes. So yeah, so we'll most certainly get a swally on tonight, Johnny. Cheers. Who else have we got here? Ben Almark is saying hi, Johnny. Graham Campbell's in. Hello, mate. How you doing? You're off to play a gig tonight. Nice one. Have a good one, mate. Scott Brower. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, 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 mate. Uh, Novice Noise Maker Rich is in. Hello, Rich. How you doing? And we're glad to see you back, by the way. Awesome. Loving the videos just... You're back on fire, mate, already. And what is that? I think we're in... I watched a video the other day. February, 12 guitars. Is it? Oh, wait a minute. Where are you? Let's get you as a mod as well. Rich also has a channel. Be sure to check it out. So, Rich, uh, you can put your link in whenever you like. There we go. Um, rubbish, rubbish Guitar Bloke. There's another one. Another one with a new, new channel has Rubbish Guitar Bloke. Worth checking out. Uh, I'm enjoying your stuff, mate. You're putting out um, good videos, uh, educational, informative videos. I like it. How do we do it? Adds a mod. We're going to end up with like loads of mods here. That's all right, though, is it? This is what Lamy taught us. He taught us well. Craig Steeman. Steeman? Steeman. Hello, Craig. How you doing, mate? Made the Man 74. Hello. Purple Rocket is here from Germany. Hello, mate. Good to see you. Budget Pedal Chat, what are you saying? We are doing a makeup pancake day this evening as we were out on the day, so. You'll be flipping some pancakes along to the steam tonight. Nice. We'll try and get a good rhythm going. By the way, I'm assuming that my audio is working. Let's hope it is. Rob Ball's here. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Phil Scott, I think. Is that right? Have we got you right? Al Lindsay, evening, Steve. Good to see you on the Studio Rats channel the other night. Yes. Thank you, Al, for bringing that up. Uh, I jumped on the Studio uh, Rats live stream. They'll have an open live stream where they put the link in. And anyone could uh, jump on at any time if you get the link. So I jumped on because something I'm going to speak about today, the Bolt guitar finishing system. I was going to be starting this week, but I went wrong, and I thought I'll ask Paul about it, because he recently did his. So I thought, why well, it's fresh in his mind, let's ask him about it. And another guy to ask about that is uh, Life Balance Dave. Um, who else have we got here? Al Lindsay, yes, that was nice. Uh, oh, I had to be jump there. What happened there? We jumped up. Uh, hi, Steve, your volume is low. Oh, volume is low. Let me fix that. How do I fix the vote? Oh no, I thought I had everything sorted. Right, hold on. Bear with me. Movo. Is it really low? Maybe I'll just come closer. Is it the volume of everything or just the mic? One, two. Check one, two. I'll try and get more excited. Uh, advanced audio properties. One, two, one, two, one, two. We're up 1.9 dB. I'm going to put it up a bit more. What happened there? Oh, it's the wrong one. This one. 
One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hopefully that helps. We're up another few DB. Is that any better? Let me know. Like buttons, please. Oh, thank you, Cal B. Yeah, we've got the lights going. Right, okay. I'm going to get stuck into some stuff. Gary Hill's here. Hello, mate. Mike C. Hello, Claire B's here as well. Hello, Claire. Um, yeah, Mississippi Blues. Hello, mate. Oh, the audio's a bit quiet. Working on it. Is this better? Novice Noise Maker saying hello. Dave Fiendish, hello. The thing's just jumped. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Johnny, mate. Thank you so much. He's giving me a super chat. I don't think I get to see these like ahead of time. I've just scrolled down it. But thank you very much, Johnny. You absolute gentleman. Oi, oi, Sex Pistols are the greatest band ever. <laughs> yeah. Kind of disagree with that, mate. Go on yourself. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you, Johnny. Hugely appreciate this. Second super chat ever. So there you go. Much appreciated. Right, where are we at? Um, Life Balance Dave is also working with a bolt finishing system and all that stuff. Right. Oh, and Bridget Guitars was just saying to mention your super chat. I just did, mate. Sorry. Microphone is still low. Novice noise maker saying audio is fine. Oh, what am I going to do? Gary's saying volume is fine. Oh, sorry, Mary. I think this is the best I can do. I'll try and come closer. I'm actually, I'm actually shouting now. Dinger 63. Evening, Steve. How you doing, Dinger? Good to see you, mate. Made man 74 I've got a guitar with super hot pickup, 16k plus. Will backing away from strings make it sound more vintage? Mm. I mean, 60k, 16k is pretty hot. You would basically have to deck that. Right, flush to the pick guard. Um, it'll make a difference, but 16k is quite hot. Try, that's the first thing I would try. It's not going to cost you anything. So yeah, give that a go. Yes, be, budget couture. I got you super chat. Thank you very much, mate. I, I don't have the facility to put them up on the screen like. Uh, like John does because he um, uses different software he can't do this on this one but thank you John I'm still hugely appreciative of that um, <clears throat> right uh, John Robson he was just on saying hello to everybody right today we're talking about picks now before we talk about picks well let's talk about picks picks and tricks this is the live stream um, topic for today picks and tricks so the picks is obviously about picks but I've got some new tricks was anybody here last week for the Chinese New Year stream when I managed to successfully put a picture up on the screen. Did you see that? Well, here we get the shock of your life. Wait till you see this. You ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go try it now. Oh, -ho! has it worked? I don't know if it's worked, I can't see it on the screen, but. I think we'll have to turn this up. Okay, hopefully that worked and then we're going to do this. So hopefully when I did that, the backing track music went off and then when I put it back on this camera, it came back on again. Did that all work? Did it all work? This thing's way behind, so like, I'm still on the other cam um, thing. Let me know if that worked because I'm pretty excited about it. It's working on my end, I think. The Good Son Evening, hello. Mainland 74. Phil Phil, A up ladies and gents. Hello mate. Phil Phil, thanks for coming. John Little is saying volume is fine watching on TV. I'm on your TV. That's exciting. Don't think I've been on TV before. Right. Someone let me know. Yeah, it worked. Brilliant. Mm. Novice Noisemaker Rich, you did a little video on picks playing with different thicknesses. Definitely a difference. Bright for thin and dark for thick. Stick it up. Uh, stick up your video link. Uh, Rich, why not? Go for it. Right, speaking of picks, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, first of all, I mean, I've seen a lot of you guys, what you like picks-wise, right? So I'm going to... Let's do that first, right? <laughs> you ready? More tricks, here we go. <laughs> ah, the tricks. So hopefully I've changed scene again and the music has stayed on. Right, I'm hoping I could see it on the screen and then... Right, let's see. I'm waiting for this to come up and then I'm going to play around with it. There we go. Right, okay. So... Here was the community poll that I did uh, four days ago, according to, according to this. So we were asking um, what your pick preference is. Um, so we had medium, around one millimetre, thick, one millimetre and up, and thin, around 0 0.80 millimetre and below, and picks are cheating, call me Mark Knopfler. So you can see the percentages there, 200 votes. Thanks, guys. That's pretty decent. That's very decent. I'm pretty impressed with that. 
Uh, so thank you all for voting. And we can see here that thick one millimeter and up is uh, the top there. Oh, cheesy peeps. What's your guitar show? Johnny, so this one came up because it's right in front of my face. The Yes, thank you. Another super chat from Johnny Budget Guitar Show, £2. Well, technically, you're saying it's from the Mrs. Judy. Please say hello. Hello, Judy and Johnny. Judy and Johnny, that's a great combo. Uh, thank you so much. Right, okay, I'm going to need to sort you guys out when I see you uh, uh, at the Birmingham Guitar Show. Speaking of which, Birmingham Guitar Show, who's all going? Um, I think we've got... Well, uh, Johnny's coming, Budget Guitar Show. I'll be there. Rich is going, Rich Novice Noisemaker. BPC, are you going? I'm pretty sure BPC's going. Be great to catch up with you if you're going, mate. Uh, and anybody else, let me know if you go to the Birmingham Guitar Show. When is it? Good question. March. Sometime. Second and third of March, Saturday and Sunday. So there you go. There's something else chalked off the list that I had to speak about. Right, we're going to get back to my um, picks, thickness and stuff. So around, uh, where about? Yeah, 41% is uh, like thick, which is actually kind of what I expected, to be honest with you. 25% um, medium and 28% thin, which is actually quite high for thin. I did not expect that. And 6% for uh, picks are cheating. You know what? If YouTube allowed us in the polls to put um, a fifth option, I would have had something like, uh, I don't know, combination of things, which some people did say. Nice one, Rich. You've just put your, um, what do you call it? Your link in. Good, good stuff, mate. Uh, right. So, I can actually go into the comments here as well. This is if you guys could see this. Um, hopefully you can see my wee face here in the top corner and uh, the screen as well. Right, here we go. Let's go into the comments. I'm not going to read all of them because... In fact, I'm not going to read any of them. I'm just going to have you scroll through because I've got live comments here that I should be paying attention to. You're all here in real life. This is, uh, this is from before. But I appreciate everything. All the comments. Look at that. I'm seeing here in live. Cal B is a 2mm big stubby. Uh, we had a few of that. A lot of thick ones. Uh, Billip23 is a 3mm homemade big titanium pick. Craziness. There's some really cool uh, things I've never heard of going on here. Um, Kirk is playing heavy gauge, fender, uh, picks, translucent or rainbow, which reminded me I used to have a rainbow fender pick back in the day. Love it. There's uh, the lamb who's talking about fingers, um, the gain Dane, Plectrum, Ultex 427 Jazz 3XL. There's like so many. Right, let's go over to the lives as well. Dave Fiendish, he likes a Dunlop 546mm in pink. I never lose him, right? Well, this gives me the per per kicked, perfect opportunity. Hello, Glenn Bailey. Nice to see you, mate. Um, to talk about my own pick preference, and then we'll get back into everybody else's again. Right, hold on. Let's try this again. Oh, oh, oh. Is this professional? Is it professional yet? We might be professional. Right, so I'll wait for this camera to come up so they know it's there, and then I will show you my picky pick. Meanwhile, hmm. Smashing. So a lot of people had said in the comments that they do use uh, different pick types for different things. Um, can't remember who it was, but someone said that they, um, they gig and take a selection of picks for certain songs. They'll use different picks um, and sometimes fingers for the Nofler stuff, etc. Um... Rubbish guitar bloke, picks like many beginner and intermediates, I'm still on the sub 08mm plectrums but lately been doing some finger picking and I like it, currently glow going plectra free, interesting, that's very cool, you're a unique bloke, rubbish guitar bloke with your super duper flat shreddy rated radius but not playing shreddy stuff and you like a thin pick, that's very interesting, okay, let me talk about this, right, well we'll be able to see this on the camera, I don't know if I'll zoom in and like I say, my viewing of it is later than you get to see it but Here's what I'm using. I'm using uh, Dunlop, is it a 500D? I think that's like 500 Denny or something, it's whatever it's made out of. Uh, and this is a 0 0.76 pick. Oh, there you go, I see it's came in. Ah, oh, I did zoom in, eventually. Yeah, um, light pink, 0 0.76 mil. I've pretty much used these for a really long time. I used to use a thick, sharp, um, when I say thick, I think it was 1.03 millimeter George Dennis pick, which was good for when I pretended to shred. But I could not shred. Um, but yeah, I've favoured these. I like a little bit of give and flex in the pick because it helps me for getting the funk on, which is something I've not done much of on the channel at all, to be honest with you. But this is my primary thing to do uh, when I'm playing. It's, a, it's, it's funk stuff. I do it in the band. I've always loved funk guitar. 
basically, yeah, that's what I'm all about. Although, some elements of very basic jazz are starting to find their way into my playing somehow. But anyway, enough about that. So, thin picks, um, let's do this. So, but like Lamy says as well, enjoy a little bit of fingering. Ho oh, ho! Enjoy a little bit of using fingers. Because you can be quite expressive with your fingers. What's the next chord? Oh, it doesn't work very well when you're live. Right, but then when I'm doing uh, funky times, let me just get a, a creaky chair for you. That's a creaky chair effect. I press that on the keyboard and it makes it a sound like a creaky chair. Okay, so funky times. This is what I'm doing most of the time in the band. Here's a wee demo. Hope we might, don't get a copyright strike for this. Anybody know the tune? Anybody know that one? Uh, so this is this suits me perfect for the funky playing and that would be how I do. I do the funky light pick and fingers, but even when I'm shredding, I don't shred. When I do any solo type stuff, the thin pick still works great for me as well. Peter Collins coming out. Nice one, mate. Go on yourself. You nailed it. Uh, yeah, so the thin pick does me well for lead stuff as well. And someone said in the comments to the poll recently that apparently Paul Gilbert is now using thinner and thinner picks, which really um, surprised me. And the other thing that surprised me after using these picks forever, I only learned like this year or last year that uh, Nile Rogers uses a really thin pick as well. And that's kind of the stuff I do. Right. But I think it's very, whoop, Jesus. I think it's very much uh, style dependent. Uh, chooses your pick. Maybe. Right. Okay. I feel like I've ignored everybody. Let's. Uh, see what everybody else is saying. Right. Where are we at? Same here. BBC, let's do it. Rich, Col Rich Cullum is Dunlop 1.14 purples. Nice. Eric DC Fender Medium. Sometimes mm, Dim Never Thin is 125th of an inch. Mm, you've lost me there. Actually, I've got a video idea there about that kind of thing. Oh wait, I've just realised I'm on the wrong camera. See? That's what I need to remember to do. Right. Uh, hopefully that's better. How am I getting on? Am I winning? Uh, we have, what have we got here? Michael Purcell, like Fender, with soft cover for pick. Hmm. Um, Dave Fiendish is sorry at 0.46mm, so you're lighter than me. What kind of stuff are you playing, Dave? That's what I want to know, with that thin of a pick. Acoustic, maybe. Um, Hollywood actress, Steve, you should try the gym. This will be the Jim Dunlop. I think I remember you mentioning uh, Hollywood actress. Hello, by the way. Um, Something in the here it goes, yeah. Jim Gin Dunlop purple gel medium pick, you'll love it more than the 500D one. Really, how thick is it? See, that's the other thing. Um, I've got other picks made of different material with the same thickness, but they don't feel the same. I like this thickness and material, but anyway. Um, Alan Bradbury, when I did use picks years ago, I used to cut them out of these freebie thin plastic organ donor cards, which used to be all over the place. <laughs> Nice one. Yeah, I've got one of these uh, pick hole punches as well. I think it was Claire B mentioned that um, in a comment the other day. We'll get these, uh, a lot of guitarists get these as Christmas gifts, don't they? Pick hole punch, anybody got them? Eric DC, have I tried the sixpences like Brian May? I have not. Well, actually, not a sixpence, but I'm pretty sure I've used the coin at some point when I was younger when I was, I couldn't get a hold of a pick for whatever reason. Oh, JK's here. What's happening? What we're talking about? Picks, John. We're talking about picks. Uh, plectra. Um, plectrums. Whatever you want to call it. Fender Mojo Grip. Hollywood Dax. He's going to send me one. No, you don't need to do that, mate. Just, uh, I'll, I'll find them. Don't you worry about it, mate. That'll cost you a fortune in postage. <laughs> John Channing. Richie Cotson is an amazing fingers-only player. One of my favourite guitars. I didn't know Richie Cotson was a fingers guy. I've heard him, him playing, and you're right, he's amazing. That's uh, that's very impressive. A, a 
I can't go his voice like, but um, yeah, great. Nice one. Uh, Graham Campbell says Tom Bukovac uses a Fender Medium for everything. Nice. I did not know that either. Uh, great stuff. Right, we're up to date, I think. Right, so let's get blend them some more things that I have on the itinerary. Right. I may have mentioned before. Now, how do I, how do I start with this? Hold on. <laughs> Got to tread carefully here. Bear with me. Right, for, right. I've talked about picks a lot. We'll come back to that. Picks and new tricks. But I'm also want to just do some shout outs to people who are in the chat who have channels and stuff. Because I remember last week that I didn't give opportunities and shout out enough. So I'm going to do it this time to make sure that everybody is accounted for. And there's a wee bit of gas. Sorry about that. Right, live streams. You should be checking out. Or you... Yeah, you should be checking out. Lamy, Mondays, 7pm. Uh, John Robson, Fridays at 5pm. Budget Guitar Show, Sundays at 6pm. So he'll be on this Sunday. I'll be trying to get along to that as well, Johnny. Um, Audio Mo, if anybody's seen John's uh, chat through the week with uh, Jim from uh, Audio Mo, he's on Thursdays at 5pm. This is all UK time, by the way. And the Studio Rats on at Wednesday 8pm. And I jumped on their live stream the Wednesday just past there, which was quite fun. So, I spoke about this last week that I'm going to be starting weekly. Yes, Craig Stateman. Mateus Mancuso is an amazing fingerstyle player. I had it in the back of my mind. Who's that other guy that plays with the fingers? But yeah, that's the guy. Sorry, distracted there. Um, yeah, I'll be doing weekly live streams on Thursday evenings from 7.30pm. Uh, Johnny Guitar Show does his guitar lo guitar sorry Johnny Budget Guitar Show does his uploads on Thursdays at 6.30 so it'll be an hour after that we'll be on for a live stream here weekly because some people get confused with uh, because I kept chopping and changing between videos and live streams on Fridays which is still going to happen so sometimes there'll be two live streams in a row but anyway Thursdays at 7.30pm from the 7th of March now Long silence. Uh, <laughs> this is what I wanted to talk about. Was um, I don't want to give you the hard sell, right? But subscribing, right? I'm not going to ask him for subscribers or anything like that. But if you want to get involved a little bit more, like today, um, I think what I'm going to try and do is integrate like a weekly community post poll, so that I've got a topic to discuss on the live stream. So this week it was picks, and then we'll get to talk about it a bit today, and. The next week it'll be something else and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to try that format out for a bit. I think it's good to centre the live stream around something rather than just, um, I don't know, me winging it. I'm not very good at winging it. We need something to kind of glue it together. So that's that's the plan. So the reason I'm mentioning about subscribing is uh, I think it's only if you're subscribed. Oh, I've dropped my bit of paper. Only if you're subscribed you'll get to see the community posts and uh, turning the notifications on, that will allow you to be notified when they're on but I understand why you wouldn't want to do that because to be honest with you I don't turn notifications on for channels either so it's, f it's all fair dues but that's what I'm going to try and do community posts live stream and then there will be the Friday weekly videos but sometimes there'll still be a Friday live stream when I've not got enough videos going there you go right that's all that news right I need to pick up my bit of paper now sorry and then we'll see what the the chats are saying oh here we go creaky chair button Right, I feel like I've spoke about everything and I've said right a lot, so that's good news. Oh, that was something else I had to ask you about. Um, so, when I start the Thursday live streams, I'm thinking of a rebrand. So, I've been doing these ones that have all been the live without a clue thing, because I literally don't have a clue. I'm, I'm getting better though, I'm getting better. I'm not saying that from Thursdays I'm going to be professional, but I mean, I could do things like this now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Eh? Then we can go back to that. And then I've got this other uh, angle that's probably completely useless, but check this out. I don't know if you can see this, but it's uh, a camera angle with me in the corner and uh, I could play guitar too. There you go. WD-40 is my friend. I missed that out. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, for the chair. Good shout, mate. And we're back to this, hopefully. And then, of course, I could share my, my screen thing as well. Total professional. Absolute professional. Lammy, you seen this? Where's Lammy? <laughs> Jokes. Lamy is the pro live streamer. Check that stuff out. Right. 
Back to normal, hopefully. Okay. So yeah, I'm thinking of a rebrand. I don't know what to call it, but uh, yeah, maybe the uh, the live without a clue thing might not work. Not that it won't work, but I think I'll keep the live without a clue for when I do the Fridays in place of um, when I can't have a video uploaded or I'm working on videos. And Thursday, I'm going to call it something else just so it's easier on the eye for thumbnails and stuff like that. There you go. That's it. That's the end of that. Right. Uh, comments are back. Right, let's go back a little bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Budget pedal chat, that's awesome. So many people coming out in the comments, so brave. He's talking about the tune, of course. Uh, I can't remember if it's actually Niall Rogers that plays that, is it? On that Diana Ross tune, it might be. Um, right. Oh, John Little, what thickness would be most suited to hybrid picking? Um, hybrid picking something I've experimented with, uh, John, but never really spent enough time on. But what I would assume is, I could be wrong, what I would assume is sort of just whatever your regular pick is and then go from there. Although your grip's maybe going to change, isn't it? Because some people like holding their pick fingers one, two, three, or thumb one, two, or if you're classical, PIM. Um, and others are uh, thumb and forefinger. I've no... A lot of people teach guitar where you hold the pick like this. No, no, like this, that's it. Could you see that? So the thumb and then the forefinger kind of at this angle. I've always did it like this. Um, but yeah, I would assume that whatever is your regular pick plus this, because if you do hybrid picking, you probably won't exclusively hybrid pick, or maybe you will, um, and then go back to normal picking. So you probably want to go with whatever you use. I don't know. It's probably different for everybody. Anybody got any advice for uh, John about that? Uh, Craig Stamen, 0 0.75 to 1 millimeter pick and a flat radius or scallop board is your comfort zone. Wow. That's specific, mate. That's actually thinner than I would have expected. Um, but good on you. Peter Collins, picks seem very expensive when I started playing very late 70s. You go in a guitar shop and they used to give you a box of picks to route through. They'd be like 95 pence each. Yeah, that rings a bell. I mean... Not the late 70s for me, but yeah, I remember them being more expensive. Uh, so I use the Jim Dunlop one, but sometimes I've got these. They're either branded as Roberts or Alice Picks. They're the exact same material and thickness. And yeah, I use these just as often. And uh, I used to get like a hundred of them, a bag of a hundred off of eBay for like about less than a fiver. So yeah, crazy. But the reason I used to buy so many is uh, because I teach, I would give them away to pupils all the time. If you got a pick, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay, um, Fender Mojo Group, uh, you'll send me, oh right, I'm back a bit here, what else have we got going on here? I've just jumped a few, sorry. Alan Bradbury, when it's empty, you can smash the neck off that bottle and get yourself an old school bottleneck slide. Right, okay, challenge accepted, mate, let's go. Mm. By the way, Razor, that's my feather. If you're watching, apologies, I need to give you a phone. I missed your call earlier uh, last night, give you a phone tonight. Or tomorrow. Uh, Dave Fiendish, Steve Casdy, Punk, my friend. You play Punk and with the third pick interest and you have SGs, LP Juniors and all with P90s. Um, mustard, no joke. I don't know what's in reference to, but I hear you. Picks, Brat, yes. Hollywood Actors, you might find it in a local shop too. Not sure what we're talking about there, sorry. Hollywood Actors. Oh, right, the Picks, yeah, yeah, good shout. Um, Michael Purcell, recently he moved to Fingers. Who's this? Um... Missed what that's about, sorry. Michael is right. Oh, uh, who is that about now? Sorry, I'm just going to go back. It's Paul. Oh, Paul Gilbert uses thin picks for his drill, right? I see. Got you. That maybe makes sense. Yeah. We'll go with that. Um, do -do -do -do. Rich is saying, novice noisemaker, no shame in promoting your channel, Steve. You do a great job and I'll be part of your living in time. Oh, ho, ho, here. Let's hope so. I mean, if, with Johnny and uh, Judy's Excuse me, just spat there. Contributions, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, we could definitely be there. WD40 is the friend. Is a recommended pick for alternate picking? Again, Eric DC, uh, not that I know of. I would just go whatever you're comfortable with. Maybe somebody might tell you there's something that's better for alternate picking, but see, alternate picking, uh, if you're having trouble with that, it's all in the technique. Um, well, 
I try to stay away from any tutorial type stuff, but I, actually, let's put on camera too. Let's even get this going, right? Um, alternate picking, right? So the trick is the distance that you have your pick from the string, right? If you want to play, so the, the purpose of playing alternate picking is to kind of, for playing at speed, you're basically doubling your output because you're going in both directions. So what you want to do is you want to keep the distance from the string. Don't go too deep. A lot of people make the mistake and you hear this kind of clicking of the pick against the pick guard. That's a sign that you're putting the pick way too deep into the string. You want it right on the edge of the string. So if you imagine the string's like a curve, I could just see that I've got, not got enough light here, but the string's a, a circle, yeah? So if you go on the outer edge of the curve and just tickle the string either side, that's how you get that sort of flow and ease range of motion. And also don't take big s uh, swoops. Just go from either side of the pick, small wee tickle. Just a wee tickle! <laughs> Just like that. There you go. Uh, so any pick you like. I would say, uh, if you want to be accurate, you don't want it to be too blunt. That's all I would say. But does anybody know the trick about sharpening your picks? Oh, I'm on the wrong camera. Does anybody know the trick of sharpening your picks on your mum's nice carpet? Shh, shh, with the friction. Cool wee trick there. Yes, I did get into trouble from my mum about that. So I had to do it on the doormat from now on. <laughs> um, Budget Guitar Show, can I nick some subscribers? I, I hope so. I hope people are subscribing to Johnny's channel. Get stuck in there, mate. Um, W8, hey Steve, what do you think about those P65 warnings some guitars come with? Cause for worry? I'm not sure what you mean, mate. Uh, what's a P65 warning? Anybody know what that is? Is that, um, maybe these only come on like ex more expensive guitars, I've not seen them yet. Or is it like a, is this a cancer thing or something like that? Uh, well, an answer to the question of it is that, I've not thought much about it at all. I'm not really sure what it is. Is it a cause for worry? You might have to ask your doctor. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. JK, uh, should maybe look into those cameras when showing them off. What are you talking about? You're not happy about them. This is a second web, it's I've not got the lighting set up perfect for the second one, right? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what you're saying. Uh, novice Noisemaker live with a clue. That could work. Oh, here we go. We're getting some suggestions now. Living Dangerous. That could work. Uh, life Balance Days. Dave, are you are you there both days? Oh, Birmingham. Yes, mate. I'm there both days. Uh, so I'm going to hopefully get a wee... Oh, I've just said I'm going to stop drinking, haven't I? I might have to make an exception for that. On the Saturday, I might have to have a wee, a wee tipple. If anybody's about. Um, Hollywood Actress. Live and happy. That's nice. Ah, live and happy. Live and merry. That works, doesn't it? Glenn Bailey. Easy on the eyes Fridays with Steve Casdale. <laughs> right, I'm going to take that as a compliment, mate. Thank you very much. What was that a kind of you? Jeezy peeps. Um, <laughs> still without a clue, but, n but not on a Thursday. But on a Thursday, sorry. Yeah, life balance, Dave. Thank you, mate. Um, budget Guitar Show, I use medium picks, but want more of the thumb size picks. Ah, uh, I know what you mean, do you mean like the wee teardrop picks, is that what you mean, Johnny? Uh, Dave Fiendish, Dunlop 500s, Johnny, good enough for the captain and me, nice. Oh, we just had a big jump there. <clears throat> um, just join, right, Rich Cullum, just joined the new band, Steve, my picks of choice are Vic Firth 5As, haha, <laughs> see, you thought I didn't get that, did you? Drummer jokes. Nice one, mate. Good on you. Um, Magical Mystery Tour. That's a cool name. Hello, mate. Welcome. What I do is play using my finger and thumb as though they were holding a pick. Yeah, I know what you mean. Which means you can easily switch the finger picking and back again. Yeah. I used to do that as well when I just couldn't find my pick. But there you go. Um, nice move. Nails Janssen. What did I miss? Um, right. Not a lot, not a lot, mate. Talking about picks and stuff. Um, excuse me. There's a, a wee chance for a plug. You can watch on catch up. There we go. Um, Peter Collins, just remember the name aren't thumb picks are what you use for hybrid picking. Oh, maybe. Is it good? Nice one, Peter. Uh, you may be helping out um, someone earlier on there. Uh, Budget Guitar Show, Punk is best. Uh, it's very good. See, we might have a rivalry here, John, between punk and funk. I might have to meet you in the middle. We might have to agree on the red hot chili peppers, but that's the thing with compromise. A lot of times nobody's happy when you compromise. I think that might be the case there. Or would it be? 
Raphael, Jesus, you are late. You are late, mate. That's completely unacceptable. Rafa, are you live streaming tonight at 8.30? Raphael also streams on Friday nights at 8.30. It's worth checking out as well. Raf, get your link in the chat. Claire B, angled first finger grip does help me with hybrid picking. Makes it easier to just tuck the first finger with my pick away if needed. So, angled, are you talking about the first one or the second one? So, is that what I mean with the angled? Or the flat one? I do it flat. Angled, I think you mean that one. So, you're saying it makes it easier to tuck... Ah, oh, cool. I never tried that before. Obviously, I need to work on it, but <laughs> um, yeah, that's that actually did work quite well there. But I, I wouldn't be able to change the whole technique around that just for that. But yeah, that's cool. I think I managed to get my pick into my finger somehow for finger picking. I don't know how I do it, but I do it. Um, Niels Janssen, I'm going. I'm going to pick up an old indie Rickenbacker copy. Nice. No, let us know how you get on with that. Got to run, Steve. Catch you all soon. Bye, all from Rich Nova's Noisemaker. See you later, Rich. Thanks for coming, mate. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, budget Guitar Show. Hi, Claire. See you in my stream on Sunday. Nice. F oh, had a wee jump there. Um, apologies while I ca catch up. Phil, Phil, you always sharpen your picks with a bit of sandpaper. And if I had any brain brains, I'd switch to pointed ones. Ha <laughs> ha. That's it. Well, I mean, even with the pointed ones, they get blunt eventually. Right. Just because you mentioned sandpaper there, Phil Phil, I need to tell you guys something. This is so funny, right? So, don't know if you remember before I was talking about um, do, I was going to be doing this Bolt Guitars refinish on one of the other Fazleys. So, it was maybe happening this week because it was off. But, um, I didn't quite get around to it. It's a five-day course to do the refinish. You do it online. Um... Uh, but I only actually got all the finish off of the body earlier today. It took three days to get this off. I say it took three days. I actually started it in July trying to get the finish off this. But I think we've got there now. But I'm still not ready for paint yet. I've got to do a few more sanding runs over with um, finer paper before it's ready to take any paint. But yeah, there's where we're at. I was sanding all day today to the point where my hand is actually in pain and I'm worried about tomorrow I've got a gig uh, if I'm going to be all right let's hope so uh speaking of which this week's video not this week's next week's Friday next week the video that's coming up is going to be uh it's going to be a video yeah it wasn't one I was planning on doing but because I've got to get this bolt thing done not because bolt are telling me to do it or anything like that I just I want to do it um I started on the stripping it in July. So I've got footage from July, which is so bad, right? Because I was using this, uh, like the cheapest lav mic, wireless lav mics you can get off of Amazon. Had them on the jumper and the audio was so bad. I've tried to improve it, but it's just an absolute mess. Basically, this video that's coming out next Friday is an absolute embarrassment. Uh, <laughs> it breaks pretty much all the rules that I've been trying to follow of making YouTube videos, but it's going to be part one of four videos to do with this refinish and they're not going to come out like every week uh it'll be sporadic with some different stuff in between but part one i've actually wrote this down yeah so part one is the disassembly and you're not going to believe the absolute stupid rookie mistake that i made in disassembling a guitar by the way i have no problems disassembling guitars i've done this before countless times and there isn't problems but i got caught up on something so stupid you would not believe so you'll see that on friday and then when i get around to doing the second part that's going to be the sanding which spoiler alert i got it sanded but yeah that's also a bit of a pain started with heat guns went on a went on to a power sanders and then hand sanding and uh, the sanding just never ends will i do it again probably not funnily enough this other fazley here way this fazley here is my school guitar let's play it while it's here oh Yeah, so this other guitar here uh, is my school guitar. It's another Fazley, like it's the same guitar, but I wanted this one to be whiter than it is. It's a bit creamy off white and I don't like it. So I took this one home last week on Friday thinking, sorry, there we go. I took this one home on last week, Friday thinking, oh yeah, I'll get that other one uh, painted and then I'll just start on this one and I'll, 
I'll all we'll be fine, but no, like five days later, I'm still sanding the first one. So yeah, uh, will I ever refinish another guitar again after this? I'll let you know at the end of the series, but so far, oh, I don't know if I if would, I'd maybe do it to like a blank body that's ready for paint. I don't know if I would take the finish off of Polly again, because that made me cry. Um, part three will be uh, prepping paint, so like prepping the body and getting the paint on, which will be over five days, but I'll try and get that into like a 10 to 20 minute video. And then part four will be like actually assembling the guitar back together. So I've got all the original parts, but I've got loads of uh, sets of single coil pickups that I want to try out and some cool options to go in a bridge pickup. I've got a Tron, I've got like a humbucker size P90, Tone Rider Rebel 90. I've got some noiseless Kinman pickups. So I've got loads of options and things to try out. So I'll probably do that with that guitar. Right, uh, and that'll be end of series. Good night. So that's what's going on there. And I've still got the Starcaster Gretsch one to finish as well, series-wise. Um, the Fender Player modded versus the Jet. No, sorry, the Jet modded versus the Fender Player. That video was done, but uh, I'm going to put it out just before Birmingham, Birmingham Guitar Show. So I can go down to the Jet booth and say, Hey, I just made a video with your guitars. What do you think about that? And they'll say, so, nothing. That's what I think about that. Nothing. Nothing. Right. Better get back to some comments. Oh, dear. Oh, nice one, uh, JK. <laughs> uh, live and fabulous. Awesome. That'll do. As you can see, I'm a bit behind here, but we'll catch up. Uh, Phil Phil, a St. James Hunt. I feel like you get a more precise pop with a point. I angle mine. There you go. Um, Stevie Mac, live for the silvery tea. That's a good one as well, mate. Live for the silvery tea. Although, if you live uh, this neck of the woods, the silvery tea is actually a chipper. A fish and chip. Uh, restaurant. Restaurant. <laughs> In Dundee. I think there's two of them. Uh, James Hunt at Phil Phil. Cheers, I may give it a try. Okay, nice one. Claire B is going to go to budget guitar shows, live stream on Sunday. Nice one. I'll be there too. More than likely. More than likely. So, it's the only reason that I'm sometimes not making it is that... Uh, my, my my grandmother's had some ill health recently and we've been visiting her in hospital some weekends, so that's the only reason that I won't make it. But I've made most of them so far, Johnny. Or I'll watch on catch up. Okay, um, John Little, you can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. <laughs> there we go. Hashtag wisdom right there. Uh, Claire B is saying ska might be your punk funk compromise. Hmm... I don't think I'd be happy there either. Uh, I mean, it's all right, but... Yeah, you're right, it's probably more in the punk realm than the funk. Or is it? You know what, Claire B, I think you're onto something. That might be perfect. Yeah, that, that's kind of one way. It's maybe more more leaning towards the punk, whereas I think early Red Hot Chili Peppers, like first couple of albums, is probably more leaning into the funk. And it's P-funk as well. Kind of. P-funk rock. Anyway... Um, what else have I got here? That always happens. I go and scroll and it jumps. Bo Bongo Cookie. Fantastic username, by the way, Bongo Cookie. I'm very impressed. Uh, I hold the world record for guitar playing. I've been playing for 30 years and can't play F all. <laughs> nice, mate. Is that 30 years continuously? So you take it to the bathroom and stuff. And, uh, just constantly sleeping. Ugh. Terrible banter by me there, sorry. Uh, Raphael is saying, trying to tidy the garage to film guitar builds more comfortably. Good on you, mate. You're, he's always doing, Raphael. He is the Nike of the guitar tube. Just do it, mate. Uh, Mississippi Blue is saying, fingerstyle always. Whenever I try picks, they always end up the other side of the room. <laughs> Fair dues. Um, and Raphael's not sure if he's live streaming tonight. He's not sure. Oh, there you go. Raphael. Just do it. Man. Just do it. Um, Rich Colm, Thursday Live could be uh, <laughs> live without a lens. That could work as well. See what you've done there, the glasses. Um, Craig Stamen saying, Rick Graham is a fantastic hybrid picker. Ah, nice one. Yeah, Rick Graham's a really good player. I like his uh, signature Charvel as well. Quite similar to... Oh, wait, am I covering it up? 
Oh no, it's over there. Wait a minute, let's try and do this. I don't know if you can see it, I'm just going to hope that that picks it up. There we go, the old Charvel. And I've no idea where I've put the camera back to. Okay, um... Martin is saying, I was given a Kevlar pick as a gift, but it was twice as thick as a Dunlop stubby and was like trying to play with a doorstop. Jinx. Kevlar. That's like the armour stuff, is it? Mental. Um, Raphael was off last week and uh, had a ruining headache. If only I had some company hosting. Ah, I see what you're saying. I feel bad taking my friend's read Dave time. I think I hear you. Rob F, I almost never lose my picks. Here's the secret. I can go many months playing with the same two that are on top of my amps. Is that weird? Yes. No, I don't think it is weird, actually. Not anymore. I used to have the problem with picks, like, everywhere. But no, I managed to keep the same cycle of about six or seven going constantly. They're either in my back pocket or on this desk. Yeah. But yeah, it's still weird, I suppose, for most people. Budget pedal chap. Coconut picks are phenomenal. They wear super quick, but they give such chunky tones. And to, is that like full-size coconuts? Or it, <laughs> they're a bit hairy as well. Uh, no, that'll be, <laughs> that'll be uh, little shards of coconut, I would imagine. That would suit me with the band Coconut Groove. We have a YouTube channel, by the way, um, which was last updated over a year ago. There you go, that was the last time I put a video up there. I've been concentrating on this channel. Uh, oh, dearie me. We just jumped again. Yep. Yeah. Um, Phil Phil, uh, use one. Is, it, is that about the coconut picks? No, I'm not sure what that is. JK Ultimate, where's the gig? Out. No, uh, no, John. Uh, we've got a gig tomorrow in Clark's. Clark's Bar, I think it's Clark's. So, you coming? Be a good one. Uh, Niels Janssen, can't use an electric, uh, can't you use an electric sander? It will help you with your hand. It's easier to get the paint off. Yes, Niels, I used an electric sander, like a power sander first, but to get into the, it's a, like a disc one, to get into the contours and stuff, that was another story, man. And the, the finish was on so thick. Well, I think it was on so thick. That's the first time I've ever done it, so I don't know if it's normal or not, but I struggled. Um, where are we at? Uh, Claire B, did you buy? Did you try heat gun to strip the finish? Yes, Claire B. I started with a heat gun. It did not go as successfully as a lot of the research that I did when I was watching YouTube videos of people taking a heat gun to a guitar finish. And you watch these YouTube videos and they're just like, tum -ti tum hoo -hoo -hoo, just coming off no bother. It's like, no, it did not work like that for me. I think you need the technique or maybe it was a bad heat gun or bad tools or more likely a bad user, this guy. But, um... No, that did not go well. Uh, but you'll see about that in the part two, which I've not edited yet. But I've got most of the footage. Um, Raphael, maybe try a DIY kit with virgin wood. Well, I mean, DIY kit could be somewhere to go. I reckon if I'm going to do that, Raphael, I'll be 2025. Just got so much on the plate for this year already. Niels Janssen, what do you think about Firebirds and SG from uh, Epiphone Gibson? Um, yes is what I think. I'm not big on Gibson guitars in general, but uh, Firebirds, I'm very Firebird curious at the moment. And uh, the next video that I've got ready to go um, is the same as Johnny Budget Guitar Show's Fazley Firebird that I tried out a few months ago. Um, I really liked it. I ended up having to go back because it was a wee issue, but uh, yeah, I liked it. And I, I like the mini humbuckers or the Firebird, hum whatever they are. They're pretty cool. I like them. Um... Steve, you missed the level sand and polishing stages. I'm sure I missed a lot. Uh, if you guys are on tonight, you can let me know all about it. Phil Liam Project. Hello. Hi, Steve. Phil Guitar Fans. Hello, mate. How you doing? Thanks for coming. I think I need a... Oh, no. Wait. We're almost caught up. Anyway, this is good. Are we? Um, there we go. Bad Manners cover. Special brew, maybe. Cover. Uh, I've stayed away from doing cover so far, James, but thank you for the suggestion. Um... Listen, you two melt. This is Stevie Mac, right? Here we go. Listen, you two melters. Neither punk or funk. Reggae is the compromise. Right, okay. Fair dues. I don't know if it's a compromise, but reggae is just awesome, isn't it? Speaking of which, off topic, one of my favourite guitar solos ever recorded. And I can't even remember the guy's name. It's annoying. Does the, uh, what, the, the famous 
live recording of No Women No Cry, which is actually Bob Marley. It's actually the uh, official recording, is this live one. The guitar solo in that is, oh my god, it's like one of the best recorded guitar solos ever. The tone, the note choice, the vibrato bends, mm. I think he's got a bit of phase on it or something, it's just, oh, absolutely beautiful, check it out. I need to learn it. Um, Claire B, she's talking to Niels Janssen, um, musical mystery tour, here we go, I think we're getting a joke here. The drummer goes into the shop, says he wants a strat. The shop guy says, shop guy? You could have done better there. The shop guy says, why? You're a drummer. The drummer says, how do you know that? Because this is a fish and chip shop. <laughs> because this is a fish and chip shop. There you go. Nice one, mate. <laughs> We're doing drummer jokes. Bongo Cookie. I can play guitars better with my feet. Nice. Congratulations, mate. Have you got any vids on this? Let me know if you've got any vids. Uh, I am a IMA640 Thursday show live and winging it. That's very similar to what we've got going on. <laughs> um, Thursday, uh, BPC said Thursday live show name Live Laugh Live. That's that's good. That's good. Keep them coming. Keep them, I'll maybe do a community post on that as well, actually, before um, we start that one on the 7th of March. Craig statement. It's really annoying when that thing does that jump like that. Where did, where did I just lost you there, Craig? Where did you go? There you are. I buy a pack of 10 picks and lose 9 instantly. <laughs> nice. Um, Bongo Cookie saying, cool show dude. Thank you Bongo Cookie mate. Cool username. There you go. Everybody's happy. Um, Steve Entwistle. Nitro Moors paint remover. Right. I'm going to have to screenshot that later. If that, is that the chemical option? Um, I, I have to find an easier option anyway because... I thought the heat gun was going to be easiest. It was not. Sanding was easier than heat gun. Uh, but then the hand sander at the end was tedious. Martin says, 19 year old me used nitro mowers on a square and it was fine. Okay, right, there's a second for that. Cool. Andre C, Fazley or beer? Mm, mm, mm. How do you decide? John Channing, that's good. Live show name, making a spectacle of myself. Haha, <laughs> nice. So, uh, the word spectacle, definitely, I can try and fit that in there. That's good. Um, Hollywood actress, is that white Fazley all stock? Uh, yes, no. I've got, well, actually, funny you should mention, that's going to be part of the video on Friday. There's something about it that is not stock, which I forgot about. Um, I'll leave that. But no, it's not all stock. Something very small. Uh, and it's got a white pick guard on it rather than the the ones I don't like, the creamy bad ones. <clears throat> uh, you dropped the phone due to battery. That's all right, mate. Um, Phil Liam Project Fazley. Yes. Glenn Bailey. Oh, look at the time. We're getting on here. Um, you're talking to I Like Black Guitars. I missed I Like Black Guitars in the chat. Hello, Mayor, mate, if you're here. Um, I got an Epiphone Firebird, oh no I did, I seen you before, I must have forgot to say your name, sorry mate. You got an Epiphone Firebird last spring, you love it, it's a little to get used to standing but Johnny Winter sitting feels great, nice. Oh here's Paran man, how you doing mate? How the heck are you, I love to see you, uh, cheers Duran man. Thanks for coming mate, from California, is that right, for the Cali? Uh, Philium Project, Al Anderson, you've lost me there mate, sorry, and you're saying Hi Glenn, how's Dave and crew? Phil Phil, would it be would it be Peter Tosh on the Bob Marley tune? Um maybe. Either way, he was great. Um I'm not too familiar with Peter Tosh, I just know that I love that solo. Magical Mystery Tour, what's the difference between a lead guitarist and a terrorist? Oh dear. <laughs> nice. You can negotiate with a terrorist. Fantastic. Mate. That's joke of the week. Joke of the month, mate. That's a cracker. Rich Cullum, oh, oh yes Steve, no woman, no cry solo was Willie Nelson. Nah, get out of here. Not the one I'm talking about. No way. Three Chord Dave's in, how you doing mate? Uh, Dave, oh wait, Dave, I need to get you as a mod, I must have missed to do that the last time. Uh, here he is. Ah, there's a moderator, great. Dave, chuck your link into the channel. Uh, Three Chord Dave has live streams every Saturday night, which is tomorrow night at, oh it's late isn't it? Is it 10? Do you start at 10pm? There you go. And there's beers happening there as well. 
Um, Richard Clark saying, hey, hey Steve, Glenn and Rob, I'm trying to work and watch, so I'm not ignoring anyone on purpose, lol. Might catch everyone on Phil's tonight also. Nice one. What's Phil's? What's Phil's? Oh, Phil's, uh, Phil McKnight, of course. Richard Clark and anyone I missed. Of course. Uh, John Little, Screwfix, do a cheap version of Nitro Mores. A heat gun might be useful alternate combined. Right, okay, I'm going to look at this, guys. Thanks you very much for this. So this one might get a refinish after all, if that works out. Uh, so Steve, do you do Zoom lessons? Uh, I did, I do occasionally. I've got one people who lives a wee bit far away and when they can't come for any reason, we'll do it over Zoom, although it's not ideal. But I did a lot of Zoom lessons um, during lockdown pandemic kind of thing. But to be honest with you, I'm actually trying to do less lessons in the evenings. I want to free up my evenings to do this. Not live stream, I mean just work on the YouTube channel. I'm really fortunate that I have a job where I get to teach guitar and sociable hours because uh, I teach in a school. So, yeah. There's where we're at. Um, I'm thinking possibly future, will I mention this? Yeah, if I was thinking about taking YouTube seriously, because I've kind of strayed away, I've just noticed the time, strayed away from like any tutorial content on here. So I've not really proved myself as a teacher on YouTube and I don't know if I want to, but... What I might do is, um, I might do a course, you know what I mean, like one of these video courses and have like a product to sell, that's what people recommend to do, I don't know if I want to go down that road, I'll think about that later, but there you go, if it's something you think you'd be interested in, I would have no reason to think why you would, because, like I say, I've got no track record on YouTube of teaching, but here's, we'll get into this, or I'll save it for another stream, I'll save it for another stream, right, because I have opinions, on teaching guitar on YouTube. That's a bit of a a big thing. So I'll maybe talk about that another time. It's, there's only a few minutes left of this one, so I'll spare you. <laughs> Thanks for asking though, Johnny. Um, oh, we're getting more jokes for the Magical Mystery Tour. What's the difference between a lawnmower and a Gibson Les Paul? You can tune a lawnmower. <laughs> awesome. String butler. That seems to be the fix. Uh, yup, Paranan Man is from Cali. There you go. Um, Thursday live stream name Live Actually. Oh, that's brilliant, mate. Has no one took that yet? That That's a cracker, mate. Um, I might take it, mate. You should keep it on for yourself, but I might have to take it. That's a good one. Um, what we're all saying here? IMA 640 strap, strap back spring cover on or off. Oh, mate, you've just reminded me that... Uh, I was going to do a big video, it was, going to, it was last year, I was planning on doing this big video on strap back plates. This Fazley, for instance, wait a minute, let's get camera two on. Dave, three chord Dave, I know you've seen this on the test, check it out. By the way, anybody that helped me on, on the test the other week, thank you so much. Do you see the back plate? I hope you see it, right, you ready? Ho ho! Velcro. You probably can't even see it because there's no light here, but this isn't an ideal solution. I've got another one done with a... Uh, what's going on with the light on that camera? Jeez. Let's bring that back up. I'll need to fix that out. Um, did I put it back? I hope so. Yeah, so... Uh, I've got one sorted with uh, magnets as well. But that's not the ultimate. There's a better solution. We're almost there. Okay. Uh, what's with the fret wrap thing at the nut? Um... Hard to explain, it has this high pitch ringing. Um, it's not for muting, it's for muting this uh, this harmonic thing that's going on behind the nut. Um, yeah, 3 Core Dave, is it not 10 pm tomorrow night? Great, I'll see you there, uh, 3 Core Dave. Oh no, I won't, I'm gigging tomorrow. Ah, I'll miss you again, 3 Core Dave, but hopefully we'll, s some people will come along from here. Um, Glenn Bailey, like, uh, okay, everybody's talking, I'm just going to catch up with these. Right, everybody's saying cheerio, this is good. Claire B is saying group lessons as a stream could be interesting. That ties into the other thing uh, on my opinions on tuition. Um, how it's not a one size fits all thing and everybody's at different levels. So that's part of it. It's a good idea as well. Um, but yeah, carrying on. James Hunt, you should do a few live lessons. John Robson's with Budget Guitar Show was brilliant. It was, it was a really good lesson. I enjoy so interesting. It's uh, what John gave Johnny isn't the kind of thing I would normally do, and it's uh, not the way I usually look at the fretboard, but I found it really interesting as well. So, uh, yeah, very cool. It's great to see other people's um, methods. I like it a lot. And I watch a lot of tuition content myself. 
Um, of course, would be a great idea, chimp number one. Thank you, mate. I may well do that. Richard Clark, I'm catching up here. Hello, mate. Um, okay, Steve. TCD doesn't take YouTube seriously either. And yet... Oh, three kid... Three chord Dave. And yet, there he is every Saturday. Uh, <laughs> fair dues. There we go. Um, Gary Hill, a waste of talent. Steve, you're an awesome tutor. Well, there you go. There's the first testimonial because... Gary Hill used to come for real life lessons. I've just realised it's seven o'clock. We'll go in a couple minutes longer just till I catch up. But yeah, Gary Hill used to come for real life lessons and he has told me that he still can't play the guitar. So there you go. Well, there, how's that testimonial for you? <laughs> Sorry, Gary Hill. This is your own words. Uh, but I would disagree with you, mate. Although I've not heard you for a while. Um, uh, three chord day, that's too much truth for YouTube. <laughs> Phil on Liam Project. Uh, Glenn, hope you're doing well. Okay, we're talking to people. Strap black plates on until you strip the holes out. Mm. Yeah, Velcro on the back was not a good idea. There was a reason for it, but we'll get there. That was Claire B, sorry. Um, right, Paran Man's got to go and tend to the plot of land. A run for electricity in the football. But there we go. There was a slight uh, diversion from the normal topics there. <laughs> Richard Clark, thank you for c contributing that, mate. Bah! Ha! That's what he says. Nice. Uh, BBC, I take the back plates off. Useless bits of pl plastic no one needs. Uh, yeah, I I did that as well until recently. I had a a, a close encounter. An almost gig ender. Uh, we got two Phil's in here. Yes, we do. Phil, well, three if you count Phil Phil and Phil Liam. Um, three Cord Dave, I have an idea, Steve. Rare, I know. <laughs> So look out for an email from me over the weekend. So, oh, great. We might get that uh, collab on the go. Brilliant, mate. That'll be great. I look forward to it, mate. Uh, James Hunt, it helped me a lot. What was that you were talking about? Back. Sorry, mate. I've missed it. Right, I'm almost caught up and then we'll get going. If you drilled a big hole in the back plate, would it be a semi-acoustic? Well, if you had it off, that might be the same. Carl B in the Rock Cat, the Starry Night Solo. Have a great week, guys. Need to check it out. Uh, Life Balance Dave, any tuition content recommendations? Who's my favourites? Uh, you know what, I think... No, I don't. They're all great. I've got favourites, and this is my problem with uh, online guitar tuition, is... for another stream. But no, I don't have any recommendations. I know who I like, but I might not work for you. This is basically the crux of it. Um, where are we at? Any tuition content? Uh, Claire, did you receive the spider pig from Johnny yet? I think she did. Uh, have a good weekend all everybody's saying great click the like great okay we're all going a cop yeah there we go james hunt bye for nine rich column cool live stream steve I'll have a good gig tomorrow mate thank you mate ask the wife to come along and she says too far away <laughs> yeah it probably is um dundee yeah no sure if it's uh recommended right quickly just the last one the long one there uh hi steve sorry late do you use amp sims i found out something very interesting and useful we've been using them wrong how can i contact you explain it to you difficult to explain text form David, there is no need. I've got an email contact uh, form on the channel page, but there's no need because I don't use amp sims. As of yet, I use the Line 6 HX Stomp XL for my live and other needs. I like a bit of hardware rather than software. Maybe someday in the future, but I'm not super duper interested in them at the moment. Right, thank you all very much for coming. You're the best. Um, yeah, so next week will be an actual video, and then I don't know when the next live stream will be. I'll keep you posted. Good night. Uh, wait, let's go through the tricks one more time. There you go, here's camera two. Um, let's do this. Oh, I've lost my trim. Oh, that was terrible. Put too much pressure on myself. Alright, good night. End the stream. Thanks for watching. Uh, until next time. See you later. And I need a thing. Yeah, there you go. It's never on time. Right, Joe.